Hey y'all, my name is Saeed, and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to retrieve older messages you've published over PubNub. If you don't know already, PubNub is a data streaming network that allows developers to connect devices, deliver data, and control that data using a variety of tools on the PubNub platform. The tool we'll be exploring today is the History API. The History API allows us to access data that has the time to live. This time to live is a number we can define in days, or it could be forever. Deleting messages from a channel's history is also possible. Before we can get into creating an application, we'll have to make sure that the storage and playback option is enabled in the admin dashboard, under your key set, and your defined time to live. Nice. Now we can head over to Android Studio and create a new project. Name your project appropriately and click the Kotlin checkbox as we'll be using Kotlin in this tutorial. We'll be aiming for Android Lollipop and above, but feel free to choose your own target version. You can continue with the setup as usual. There are a few prereqs for any Android application that uses PubNub. The first is having the ability to connect to the internet. We can allow our application to connect to the internet by going to the Android manifest and adding the internet access permission. Our final requirement for our application will be to add the PubNub dependency to the applicable Gradle file. By adding the PubNub dependency, we're able to add the necessary functionality to connect, deliver, and control with PubNub's data streaming network. All right, now looking at our application, we can see that we have two files, the activity underscore main.xml and the main activity.kt file. In our activity underscore main.xml file, we can see that we have five components in total. First, we have a text view, which will tell us the messages that are coming in, and edit text that allows us to publish messages, then three buttons that allow us to access three points in the API. The first button will retrieve all the messages in the channel, the second button will allow us to retrieve the last message, and the third button will allow us to retrieve the last 10 messages within a time slice. Now moving on to the main activity.kt file, let's see what's happening here. First, we start off by connecting the front end to the back end and assigning that reference to five different variables. Then we configure our PubNub object. Once that's done, we run a subscribe callback and we add a listener with that subscribe callback. In the subscribe callback, we override the message function, and we say that once a message comes in, we assign that message to the subscribe text. Then we're setting an on-click listener for our three buttons. For each of the buttons, we make a call to the PubNub history API with different parameters. The first one allows us to retrieve just one message, which will be the last message in the channel. The second button will get 10 messages within a time slice. So here, we specify a start time and an end time using a timestamp. Lastly, we have a button that gets all the messages in the channel. We'll be able to get all the messages by recursively calling the PubNum History API until there are no messages left in the channel. The last bit of code will set an on key listener for our edit text. And basically this just says that when the enter key is pressed, we'll publish the message that's being typed into the edit text. All right, now if we open our emulator, we'll be able to see that we can publish and subscribe to messages. Now, if you publish a message, every single device that has this application open will be able to receive that message in real time. We also have some new components. The three buttons at the bottom will allow us to access the different levels of the history API. By clicking each button, we'll be able to get the specified amount of messages from the channel. I hope now you know how to retrieve messages over the PubNum network using the history API with storage and playback. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. We're always here to help. Thanks for watching.